every Google Pixel running Android 12 has this beautiful search bar that is only exclusive to the Pixels up until now. A new app called Search Widget Material U has replicated it and made it available for devices running Android 8.0 or higher. It adapts to the colors of your wallpaper, opens up very smoothly, and even allows you to change the buttons to things like music search, the settings, or even the Play Store. Not a bad option if you're trying to pixify your home screen. And that's how we're starting it off for the best Android apps of February 2022. We're stepping things up a bit this month, and instead of just showing off seven apps, we're showing off 13. That's right, 10 applications and three games to be exact, so instantly drop a thumbs up for those extra goodies. Also, only a few percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up downloading at least one app, consider subscribing with the notification bell turned on. Quality videos like this are a weekly thing on the channel and you're not gonna wanna miss out. First up is Smart Hertz. This lets me dynamically change the refresh rate depending on what app I use. For example, if I like Google Maps to run at 90 or 120 hertz instead of just 60, Smart Hertz lets me do just that. Makes navigation a lot smoother. I even force the camera and even some games to run at a higher refresh rate. Just keep in mind that having apps run at a higher refresh rate will have an effect on your battery life, so if you see a huge drop in battery, you can choose to bring down the refresh rate for some apps. The best part about Smart Hertz is that it doesn't require root, so it does work on non-rooted phones, but it won't work on every single one out there. It works best on OnePlus devices, and it's even easier to set up if you do have root. Still, it wouldn't hurt to see if it works on your device, being that it's free to download and use. If you're a student, I highly recommend you try out Paper Tag because it lets you connect your paper notes to any digital content. I know that sounds confusing, but the idea is really simple. For example, let's say you want to let yourself know in the future that you grab these notes from a YouTube video. Well, within Paper Tag, you tap on the plus icon, paste the YouTube link, and it'll spit out a four character hashtag, which you can write down on your notes to find the video later on much more quickly. You can also do the same thing with pictures, text, or websites. It's a genius idea that can also come in handy if you want to link any pictures you took of the bulletin board, or if you want to source websites within specific parts of your notes. If you receive way too much spam in your inbox and want to flush it all away quickly and easily, CleanFox, the sponsor of this video, is by far the easiest and quickest way to do so. It connects to your email account, and in a Tinder-like fashion, you can quickly delete every newsletter, spam, or unwanted email. Just swipe left to unsubscribe and delete a newsletter, swipe up to just delete it, or swipe right to keep the emails. In a few minutes, you'll get rid of hundreds or even thousands of emails in a fun and playful motion. Or you can just switch to the list view to delete multiple newsletters in bulk. No lie, CleanFox has helped me delete over 100,000 emails and it feels great. Not just because I'm cleaning up my inbox, but also because I'm actually helping the environment by deleting those pesky emails. How does this work? Well, any emails that you don't delete get stored within data centers that are responsible for 45% of the total ICT industry carbon footprint. That's a lot of emissions for just storing a lot of the spam. In my case, I managed to avoid over a thousand kilograms of emissions a year just by having CleanFox delete all of my unwanted emails. I've done the math and that's equivalent to my car using up over a hundred gallons of gasoline. So I challenge you to try and beat my score to help lower your carbon footprint. On my Twitter, I'll post a screenshot of how much CO2 I've saved and I'd like to see if anyone can beat it. I'll leave a link right below the like button to download CleanFox now. For those unaware, Apple has a relatively new tracking device called AirTags, and being that they're so small, people are actually using them to secretly track others. That's why Apple made a tracker detection app, even on Android, to help you locate any around you. The only problem is, is that their app has to manually scan every time you want to see if you're being spied on. It doesn't do it automatically, and it only locates AirTags that are away from an iPhone, not ones that are close to the owner's iPhone. It's not very convenient. That's why AirGuard is a much better option. It detects every AirTag around you and periodically scans your surroundings to detect them without you needing to open the app. Plus it only notifies you when the same tracker gets detected multiple times and its location has changed while still being near you, meaning that it's most likely tracking you. For those running Android 12, you're going to love this next app. It's called Repainter and it allows you to choose any custom color to use as your system's theme. Way better than just the three to four options that Material U provides. It gives you much more control over your interface and it doesn't even require root. It'll just make you download an extra app called Jizuku and within it, it'll have you type out an ADB command from your desktop. 
If you do have Root though, you'll be able to do even more, including changing the strength and brightness of the color. So even when I have the dark theme enabled, I can still see the color I chose within the background. My favorite feature though, is that I can even force the background of some of my system screens to be AMOLED black. Extremely useful since some OEMs like Google stopped using a pure black background with the release of Android 12. It does cost $4.99, but I reached out to the developer to hopefully obtain some promo codes, and he was kind enough to give me 30. If you like a chance at getting one, make sure to follow me on both my Twitter and Instagram at HowToMen, and I'll be giving them away in a few days there. Check this out. Whenever I plug in my phone, I made it so that this cool charging animation appears for just a few seconds. It's pretty sick and easy to do with an app called Pika. They have a couple of other animations to use for free, or if you get the pro version, they have hundreds of other options. Things like your favorite cartoons, superheroes, characters from a popular TV series, some simple animations which are mesmerizing, or even some random ones. You can even choose a video from your camera roll to appear. It's a pretty neat trick that will have all your iPhone buddies wondering how you did that. Want to keep track of Amazon prices to buy that certain thing you've been eyeing on for weeks at a lower price? Well, Reprice is the best Amazon price tracker app that I've found yet. You just tap on the plus icon, search for the product, and once you're on the landing page, tap on the green plus icon in the lower right corner. Choose track product, and then choose track product again. That's it. From now on, when the price for that item changes, even from third-party sellers, Reprice will notify you. The best way to monitor your battery is with Battery Guru. This app will tell you everything you need to know about your phone's battery life. From how fast your phone discharges, to how many weight clocks you're encountering, to even your battery health to determine if it's time to replace it. It also lets you know how much remaining time you have till your phone dies, what apps are using up the most battery, and it even keeps a record of how often you charge your phone. The best part about this app though, is that it can also help you save a ton of battery life. Within the save tab, you can configure your phone to immediately jump into doze mode when you enable aggressive doze. It'll extend your standby time immensely. They also let you configure the battery saver so that you can make it a lot more aggressive or a bit more laid back, and even have battery saver only enable when the screen is off. That's just the tip of the iceberg though. Battery Guru is a gold mine for helping you understand your battery. A massive shout out to Daniel Markov for recommending this app to me through my subreddit page. Just a heads up, if you'd also like to recommend an app on there, I may end up choosing it for the next best Android apps episode and shouting out your name. If you like to include more widgets on your home screen, but don't want to have a crap ton of pages or make everything seem cluttered, you can instead use Pop-Up Widget 3 to create a shortcut that lets you pop up a widget. You can even pop up multiple widgets within a single shortcut. And for those wondering, yes, it does work with KWGT widgets, so check it out now if you want to unclutter that home screen. I don't really use a lot of to-do list apps, but recently I came across Priorities, which honestly keeps it so simple that it's helped me improve my productivity and workflow a ton. When you open the app, you just type in your priorities for the day and check out the list when you're done with each one. That's it. The next day you'll start fresh and write down some new priorities. The developer basically used a method from some famous businessmen where each night before you go to bed, you prepare a 3x5 index card with a short list of 3 to 5 things that you like to accomplish for the next day. Well, Priorities is essentially the same concept, but it keeps it paperless. If you're looking for a great voice recorder app to record your classes easily or capture any meetings quickly, Easy Voice Recorder, one of the sponsors of this video, is a fantastic choice. It's easy to use and doesn't overwhelm you with unnecessary features. Just give your recording a name and then press the red microphone to start capturing. You can also pause your recordings and there's no limit to how long you can record. The only thing stopping you is your storage space. Afterward, you can find all your recordings within the listen tab and play them back easily. My favorite feature though are the home screen widgets because they let me start a new voice note without you even needing to open the app. It's such a lifesaver when needing to record quickly. When you get the pro version, you can also unlock a ton more features, things like edit mode, which lets you trim or cut the audio, the option to convert the audio to another format, upload your recordings to the cloud, and even the option to turn your recordings into a video so that you can post them on your social media. There are so many more features packed with an easy voice recorder, yet they still made the app very easy to use, just as the title implies. No wonder they have over 50 million downloads and 450,000 five-star ratings. If you're interested in trying it out for free, make sure to use my link in the description. 
Switching to the games, the first one is Sugar Game. Now at first it may not seem that great because the graphics are terrible, but after you start playing for just a few minutes, you just can't seem to put the phone down because it has such an addictive goal of needing to fill those cups with the right amount of sugar. Every time you swipe on the screen, you create a path for the falling sugars to follow, and no matter how ugly your lines are, as long as they get into the cup, you're good to go. Plus you need to do some strategizing because sometimes it's just not that easy. Some levels give you multiple cups to fill, and others will have you change the course of gravity to reach the cup at the top of the ceiling. It's got over 100 levels to play through and a ton of super positive reviews, so I just had to share it. Another addicting game is Go Big featuring Godzilla vs Kong. The title pretty much says it all. You get to roam around a city as Godzilla or King Kong and just destroy everything. The more you destroy, the bigger you get, and sometimes you even get to fight other aliens and monsters. There are also power-ups scattered along the streets to let you become even bigger for a few seconds or to let you extend the time. And you only get two minutes to destroy everything as fast as possible, so you better make good use of your time. Super fun game and free to play. Next up, Tesla Force is the only paid game on this list, but the advantage with paid games is that it's not a pay to win title and you won't get annoyed with intrusive ads. Tesla Force is a third person shooter where your objective is to complete specific tasks while trying to shoot down an army of monsters. Every level is randomly generated and you'll have a few sighs of relief once you've completed each stage because it gets extremely intense with all the monsters trying to swarm you. Eventually you'll be able to power up your character and unlock some crazy new weapons, but of course the swarms will get bigger and tougher to kill. I can't see it getting repetitive though, but if you're into grindy gameplay that is easy to pick up, Tesla Force is not a bad option. Anyways, that concludes the best Android apps of February 2022. I hope you guys download at least one app. If you did, a quick thumbs up would really go a long way to helping this video get noticed by the YouTube algorithm. If you downloaded two or more, get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. I promise videos like this are a weekly thing on the channel and you'll be pleased with the quality. Either way, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end and I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Kapow!